All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kadesh. The honor to the elders, the prosperous great millstone, who told me truth and rule well. Peace, blessings, salutation, that I come out there, spread abroad to the four corners of the earth, that turn the truth and not true sincerity. So I say Shalom. It's your brother Nabala coming to you another video in the spirit. Basically, I'm gonna talk about uh what's going on over there uh in tai Taiwan. And, and with China basically cutting ties with uh the U.S. over that, and I'm uh start off with this article. It says China halts military and climate ties with the U.S. as say in sanctions Pelosi and Furry over Taiwan visit. It says the latest retaliation came as military dr drills launched by. Beijing sent warplanes, naval ships, and missiles missiling close to the small island democracy despite ignoring criticism. It says Tapia, Taiwan, China said Friday it would halt cooperation with the United States on areas including military relations and climate change while imposing sanctions against House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. As Beijing stepped up its retaliation to her Taiwan visit, the new measures were announced as military drills Beijing launched furiously in the wake of her trip earlier this week, sent warplanes and naval ships and missiles missiling close to To this small island, democracy despite growing criticism. It says the U.S. delegation's an unannounced visit to Taiwan has fueled a mounting crisis, raising fears of conflict in the region and stoking tensions between Washington and its allies in Beijing. It says Beijing said Friday it will cancel phone calls between regional military commanders, defense meetings, talks on maritime safety, and on climate change. It also said it would end cooperation with the U.S. on anti-drug efforts, returning illegal immigrants and transnational crime. Earlier, China took personal action against Pelosi, announcing sanctions on the speaker and her immediate family in response to what the Chinese foreign minister called, called her egregious pro provocations. So as you can see, just from reading all that, these other nations is, is, is not messing with america no more you know you got the thing that happened that happened with bg they just sentenced her to nine years which was all part of um it was all part of the plan for them to try to get that to try to do that trade with their or that arms dealer you know but you got that happen over there and now you got this going over here with china and you got to understand russia and china are basically next in line when it comes to military power and might you know, and that honestly, they might have, they may have surpassed America, you know, but one on one, you know, they probably on the same level. But if those two were to, were to, you know, join forces, which they're, which they're going to do in due time. But when they, if they were to join forces, America has no answer for them because their military might is as, is as strong, if not stronger than America's. So you can see how these nations are basically how they're about to start coming against this place. It says the uns unspecified sanctions, China's latest retaliation for the brief trip to the self-ruling island it claims as its own territory came as Washington and its allies urged the escalation. It says the U.S. summoned the Chinese ambassador Thursday to lodge a formal protest over Beijing's actions against tai Taiwan and reiterate that Washington does not want to stoke a crisis in the region. National Security Council spoke, spokesman John Kirby confirmed that Washington Post first reported news of the rebuke. Since Pelosi in Japan for the last stop of her editor said China would not be allowed to succeed in its efforts to isolate Taiwan. Taiwan. Since they, they may try to keep Taiwan from visiting our participating in other places, but they were not isolated to land but many travels here travel there, she said Friday hours before the sanctions against her. Is that China's response had un 
had until now largely been directed at the island for over 23 million people that, li that lies just across the Taiwan Strait. Beijing began a second day of the military drill surrounding, surrounding the island Friday morning, sending multiple military vessels and aircraft across the median line in the strait that had been an unofficial buffer zone for a decade. A day earlier, it fired ballistic missiles, at, at least one of which it boasted had flown directly over the island, and five of which Japan said had landed in its exclusive economic zone waters. Chinese military aircraft made 68 sorties, while 13 warships conducted frequent exercises around the Taiwan Straits at the 5 p.m. local time, 5 p.m. Eastern time, on Friday's Taiwan's military news agency said, citing the Defense Ministry. Oh yeah, I read it. It says the ministry, the Ministry of National Defense, condemned the Chinese military deliberately crossing the middle line of the strait and infringing on the sea and airspace around Taiwan, stressing that the Taiwanese military will take resolute actions to safeguard national security and ensure that the, the democracy and freedom are not threatened. The agency quoted the ministry, the ministry. The ministry as saying, the ministry has neither conf confirmed nor denied that missiles flew over Taiwan. If true, it will mark the first time Chinese missiles have, Chinese missiles have flown over the South Ruled Island. So, basically, you see what's going on. You know, these other nations are are feeling themselves now. You know, because they got they got they got military strength now. You know, and also they got. Their nuclear, um, their nuclear, uh, programs are, are up to date now. So everybody has this type of technology and they're not afraid to show off now. You know, they, they was doing a little privatism. Now they're, 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 they're not afraid to show people what they have. Like you said, this has been the first time, you know, so stuff like this has never happened before because what people didn't have, people, their nuclear technology was not up to date and their military might wasn't as strong, but now. China's military might is strong and they have that technology. They're not afraid. Like they don't they're not afraid of anybody. Um and I'm gonna uh, jump straight into the scripture. Uh, this is Matthew twenty four and six, and you should hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Yeah, because yeah, the end, the end is not yet. Yeah, we're hearing these wars and rumors of wars, but we know there's still more prophecy that has to happen. We know the MOTB has to be implemented. When that happens, then we then we we know what time we're into. But even when, when that happens, we still have to wait for World War Three. World War Three happens after the MOTB because they all have to be gathered in in that land over there for for their ultimate uh destruction. The Valley Je Jehoshaphat. So. Even though we hear these things going on, the end is not yet. He says, For nation shall rise against nation, make kingdom against kingdom, and there should be famines, pestilence, and earthquakes in dire in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows, kind. And that's what we see right now. We see nation rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. We got China that's that's rising up against America, and also as well as not China, Russia as well. You know, it's multiple nations, multiple kingdoms rising up rising up against each other. And why is that? I'm gonna grab it. Uh, in Isaiah four, Isaiah fourteen and ten, it says, "All they speak, all they shall speak and say unto thee, Art thou, art thou also became weak as we? Are thou, are thou become like unto us?" And that's what they're saying about America. You know, America used to be on the top. It used to be, you know, one. It was, it was a nation that picked fear in all these other nations because of what they did. Uh. Ah, I can't. I can never remember when they dropped that atomic bomb on uh, Namasaki. I want to say that 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 fear that feared the other nations because no one else, no other nation had that type of uh 
had that type of uh, technology at the time to do nothing like that. But now, all these other nations have have the same nuclear technology. You know, every every nation has nukes now. Some are some are more advanced than others. And one one of those that are more advanced than others are China and Russia. So now that they see that um America is America's not on the top no more, nobody's afraid of America. And a lot of places again have gotten mad with this place because of how America has tried to to to, to run the run the world. Now other nations see that they don't have to follow behind this place and also they're being mad because of them partaking of some of the things in this place, like trading with this place, bargaining with this place, you know, uh, following in the philosophies of this place. They're mad because of that. So now they're ready to they're ready to to fuck America up. So that's that's just what we see, you know, them her uh, Pelosi going over to, to Taiwan was a was a perfect perfect move for them to do what they did which is cut ties with America. Because they've been wanting to do it. They just had had a reason. And so they, they got they got that reason to cut their ties. So now it's just it's stirring things up. Now we, they got, we got to wait and see what's going to happen with this, with this, uh, with this BG situation. Brittany Griner, the, uh, the women's basketball player. See how, what, how that's going to play into to this and all of that. But everything is coming together. If you can't see it, and then that's just the Lord behind you, but everything is coming together. And that's why it's time to to really say fuck this place. Because <laughs> it's, it's, it's coming to an end fast. You know? They just recently said that we just had one of our shorter, shortest days in, in history. I think it was June 29th. So that show you that the Lord is speeding up the time. They said that they said uh this year is moving faster than any other year. The 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 world is spinning faster than it had ever before. That's the Lord spinning at the time. That's why the, he's trying to come down with his great wrath on the people. Because you know they have it but a short time. But it's, it's, all of this is the Lord. He's speeding things up. So he can put an end to this place. And so so he can establish his kingdom. And uh, I'm going to grab this. This is Jeremiah 51 and 6. It says, Flee out the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance, and he will render unto her a recompense. Huh? So it doesn't mean, and when it says flee, it doesn't mean physically. It's talking about mentally, spiritually flee out of this place. Because... The judgment is coming. In this verse 7, it says, Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. Con. The nations have, have basically drunken, uh, took on the philosophies of this place. You know, but they see that it basically was all for no reason. Like they just said, they they were so terrified of this place, not nah, that America is being revealed. They're like, this, this, this. This who we afraid of. This who we let, you know, rule us and and you know control the way we want to do things. So now they're mad, and now they're ready. To, now they're ready to turn on this place, you know. But it's going to be in due time, as the scriptures say. So everything has a season. Roughly paraphrasing. So he just stirring it up. The Lord just stirring everything up until it's time. So. Continue to take heed and continue to keep watching. And and for you Jake out there, that's still that's still messing around, that's still bullshitting. It's time out for all that. You know, we're gonna continue to tell you, continue to warn you to repent and come back to your how about your lifestyle while you still can. Or you're gonna get caught off, you're gonna get caught you're gonna get caught up in uh the judgment of this place, which is which is destruction. So Lord, when this video is edifying, I'm going to close out by giving all praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Kakadash, Shalom.